It's, it's so special to come here and, and, and um, yeah, clarify questions, clarifying our experience. What I found when I came to the Balance U training is that I just more and more felt more and more comfortable within myself, more and more comfortable with all the data streams that were arising for me. And data streams are simply all our thoughts, emotions, sensations, all our experience, whatever we experience, what we can perceive, we can simply call data. And through this uh, practice uh, that we are introduced here in Balance U, I just became more and more comfortable within all the data streams, more and more comfortable and more and more at ease. And that is actually what I was looking for. I, I really wanted to feel comfortable and easeful and relaxed. And um, I always tried to contrive that and I tried to feel comfortable. And I, I, I had loads of ways to, to do that, but I always was trying and it never really worked. I always tried to get rid of my uncomfortable data streams, but that didn't really work. Maybe for a period of time, not very long I, I managed, but um, then they could all come back and I would feel uncomfortable, I would feel sad, I would feel jealous, I would feel fearful, desire, whatever it might be. And, and, and I thought I need to rearrange them and hold them at bay in order to have well-being. And so I was really relieved when I came to the Balance View training that nothing need be done with my data stream, that I can just simply relax one short moment at a time and recognize that everything about me is completely stable. No matter what comes up, I can be completely at ease with whatever arises. That was amazing for me because I, I didn't think that that would be possible by just simply um, relaxing body and mind for a short moment. It's a simple practice, a simple tool that we are introduced here in this, this training is to just relax body and mind for a short moment and recognize that there's something about us fundamentally that is always present, always aware, cognizant, clear, potent. Our power to know, open intelligence. We just simply call it open intelligence, but no matter what you want to call it, it's all, well, open intelligence, the, the, the ground of everything, at the basis of all perceptions, inseparable from all perceptions, open intelligence is shining through. So we can introduce ourselves, when we are here for the first time, it's very powerful to introduce ourselves to open intelligence by just stopping thinking for a moment and just recognize what remains. There's something undeniable, an alertness, cognizance, a clarity remains. And then another thought maybe appears, oh, I cannot stop thinking for a long time, which is great because we don't need to. We don't need to stop the thoughts. Thoughts will always arise, emotions will always arise, so that's fine. We just recognize with the stop thinking that there's something about us always, always alert and present. Open intelligence. Open intelligence, insepar inseparable from the thoughts, inseparable from all emotions, from all data. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. So with a short moment we just recognize that fundamental basis there, open intelligence, inseparable. So we relax body and mind for a short moment whenever we remember to do so. And that's the great thing, we can do it, we can test it out today. Wherever we go, whatever we do, we just relax for a short moment, recognizing open intelligence, that present that we just identified when we stopped thinking. And then maybe it slips away right away, that recognition of open intelligence. And that's very natural in the beginning. So then whenever we remember to do so, we take a short moment again. And what I found in my experience, that these short moments became more and more. I just naturally remembered more and more, just by um, immersing myself in the Burns View training. And then the short moments just grew longer and longer. Suddenly there was just an ease in my experience in that I couldn't, I, I was just very amazed about how it just, I could be easeful in the midst of, of my data rising, in the midst of anger or in the midst of sadness. There was just inseparable, a complete ease and clarity. And that's our natural state. We are also capable to just be completely clear in every moment. But when we emphasize our data streams, when they come up, 
when we forget to recognize open intelligence, then our other choice is to emphasize the data, so the description of the anger, the sadness, the joy, whatever it comes up for us. So then we get lost in all this description. We don't recognize open intelligence. Then we can just see how our focus is swift with the data stream, just sucked in in the data stream, and then that's what we see, the data stream. Isn't it like that when we are angry, we just see everything out of the glasses of anger, everything is just like... Uh. But then when we, when we see that we have actually another choice in that moment to relax completely, recognize that this anger is just inseparable from, de from open intelligence, then we have complete clarity in that moment. Complete clarity, no matter what data stream arises, if it's grief or sadness, anger, hatred, joy, love, I mean, no matter what it is, there's complete clarity in our experience when we recognize open intelligence. Then we suddenly know what to do, we know how to act that will be of most benefit because we are not fogged in into our data streams. We recognize the data streams clearly for what they are the shining forth of open intelligence, the dynamic energy of open intelligence, nothing else. It's always changing. The dynamic energy is always changing. Data streams are always changing. We cannot hold on to our data streams. Not to the bad ones and also not to the good ones, or the ones that we like, the positive. <coughs> also not to the negative. They arise, they are there for a while, then they just self-release. We don't need to do anything with the data streams. We can allow them to be as they are and they just self-release. Then the next data comes up and it self-releases. And we just allow everything, the whole flow of data stream to be as it is. And in that we find complete potency and power, complete clarity and stability, mental and emotional stability. And, and that was really amazing for me because I thought I need to get I need to work on a state of open intelligence. I thought I need to achieve it, I need to get it, I need to work on it in order to come to open intelligence. I thought here are my data streams that I need to work on and then I will reach open intelligence. And it never worked and then I realized on, through this training that, wow, actually I don't need to do anything. Open intelligence is in that data, the dynamic energy of data. It's not something out there somewhere else that I need to try to achieve. So our starting point is that open intelligence is always present, right there. Nothing needs to be achieved or um, gained. Open intelligence always present, equally and evenly, and we just recognize it. We recognize it in every moment, that it's present in every moment. And we, we just get more and more familiar with that in our direct experience. In a simple way, by, by relying on the four mainstays, by relying on the short moments of recognizing open intelligence, whenever we remember to do so. That's the first mainstay. Because in Balanced View we not only have this simple practice, but we have a complete support network that will allow us to bring it about in our everyday life. So the simple practice of short moments, then we have the trainings, we have lots of trainings where we can just deepen our recognition more and more. We have talks that we can just download onto our device and listen to that, those. That's what I would suggest if you're here for the first time. Just listen to a couple of talks, come to these open meetings and just see what happens. I mean, it was amazing for me. I just showed up. I didn't quite understand exactly what was shared, but I just showed up. It's something ring very true in, in, in the experience and something about that I wanted to investigate in my experience. So I just showed up to open meetings, a couple, and I, I found that I was more and more at ease with some data streams that, I, that used to drive me into a complete mess. And, and that was really, wow, like, okay, something is going on here. So I will test it out a bit more. Then I started to also take short moments and found that really powerful. So we can really test it slowly in, in our experience. Then we have also the opportunity to be in touch with a trainer, to clarify all our data streams, the, and, and also see that it's really possible for, for other people as well, for everyone who would like to. We see so many examples also in the community, which is the fourth mainstay, to be with a group of people that are all relying on open intelligence, and then we see, wow, it's really possible to be at ease and to be at, and in complete harmony with, with everyone, to 
to work together in a very natural and easeful way, an efficient way, where everybody just takes full responsibility for the data streams that are arising. There's no more blaming others for how I feel. Oh, that's such a relief. I always blamed other people for how I feel, just because that, this person said that, that's why I feel like this. And, and now it's just a complete relaxation in, in that. I can take full responsibility for the data stream that arises for me, take a short moment, relax completely. Oh, that opened up so, many, so much for me in, in terms of how I connect with other people, the openness just to be of complete ease with everyone, no matter where they are from, no matter um, if they had what data streams comes up for them, it just doesn't matter anymore. We're just completely united as open intelligence. There's complete intimacy within every um, moment, and, and that was just really beautiful for me to see. I always wanted that. I wanted to be connected with everyone, to have that deep feeling of connection. And, and then I, I realized, wow, it's so natural. I don't need to work on it. I don't need to contrive it. It's just natural. That's our state of being, being completely at ease and connected with everyone in a very natural way. So that, that was really beautiful for me to see and, and um, what was also very powerful for me to see is that I wasn't trapped anymore with my data streams. That's what was the main thing. It didn't matter the circumstance I was in, less and less, that I used to think it's the circumstance that I need to get out to in order to be free. But I realized I can be free in every moment, no matter what my commitments are, no matter what situations I am in, I can be completely free, my mind can be completely free, letting all data be as it is, and then see from there what, what I want to do, how I want to um, show up in my life, honoring my commitments or putting things in place that I can honor my commitments and um, be completely at ease with no matter what I was doing. It wasn't the situation that was usually the problem for me. That's what I realized. Wow, it's all the data streams around it and I can be free in each moment by allowing them to be as they are, not following into those data streams. Wow, that was amazing to just feel completely free in every moment. That's our natural state. And from there we see what will be of most benefit. From there we see if we need to make changes in our living arrangements or whatever that might be in our specific circumstance. But we will know, we will not be um, sidetracked by the data streams. And then we can just show up of what will be of most benefit and that's what we want to go with, not what the data are saying. I don't listen to my data anymore. I just don't care anymore really what, what is coming up. I just know exactly what I, how I want to show up. I want to show up what will be of most benefit. If my data says I like it or not, I don't, I don't care anymore because it doesn't have any substance anymore in that way. Because they're always changing. My, sometimes I like that circumstance and sometimes I don't. So, which, which, I cannot rely on my data because it's always changing. Always. It's always completely changing and so I rely on what is always stable, open intelligence. Rely on that was always beneficial that always aligns us with benefit. We naturally know what is of most benefit. That's our, and that's, that's brilliant because then we can just completely relax. Completely relax and let open intelligence guide us there, not the data stream. Because when we rely on our data streams, we are just swirled around. The much they change, the much we swing around like that. But we want to be grounded and stable within our experience. We want to be clear knowing exactly what the nature of our data streams is.